So now let's uh, <coughs> look into addressing and uh, subnetting. So there are two types of uh, addressing. Basically, the first one, the first way of doing is hardware addressing. Hardware addressing is a hardware address is used to uniquely identify a host within a local network. So hardware addressing is a function of the data link layer of the OSI model that is layer 2. Data link layer is OSI, uh, data link layer is layer 2 in OSI model. Then it uses Ethernet. Ethernet utilizes the 48-bit MEAC address, that's a MAC address, as its hardware address. So MAC is nothing but media access control address. MAC address is media access control address is often hard coded on physical network interfaces, though some interfaces support changing the MAC address using special utilities. In uh, virtualization environments, dynamically assigning MAC address is very common. So, a MAC address is most, of, uh, most often uh, represented in hexadecimal using one of two accepted formats. Here you can see those uh, two formats. Um, these are two examples, but uh, I would like to show this uh, in live. So, just a minute i would like to put the yes so this is the wi-fi so my wireless uh, network uh, uh, is uh, example example i'm checking this as my wireless network if you see physical address here the physical address mac is 74 4c a1 78 uh, 98 uh, d1 so <coughs> basically IP4 and uh, DNS server encrypted IP6 and then the link speed is 150 Mbps and network band is 2.4 gigahertz. These are other information and the version if you see the standard is 802.11n that we have discussed uh, at that time. So here is the example. So like this every maybe your mobile phone will have a MAC address. Your mobile phone Bluetooth uh, is the example that will have a MAC address. So everything, everything, almost each and every device will have this physical address. And how much we are using that's debatable but every uh, thing, every device will have a physical address. The first in this address total we have six hexadecimal digits. Total we have six hexadecimal hexadecimal digits. In this the first six hexadecimal digits of a MAC address is identified as uh, uh, if you see this the top one the top one total we have uh, uh, 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 total we have uh, 6 plus 6 12 hexadecimal digits out of which the four the first three components initially i, I said the six hexadecimal digit no? so the mistake is it's not six hexadecimal digits six hexa uh, total six components uh, it consists of total six components there's a two formats the first format will have a six components and second one will have three components out of the six components, let's consider these first three components or the first six hexadecimal digits of this MAC address identify the manufacturer of the physical network interface. <coughs> Basically, this is referred to as the OUI, that is Organizational Unique Identifier. <coughs> then we have the last three components or the last uh, six digits uniquely identify the host itself and are referred to as the host id these three are the host id <coughs> so the mac address the mac address has one shortcoming what is that it contains no hierarchy so mac addresses provide no mechanism to create boundaries between networks so this is not one shortcoming this is the biggest shortcoming of the mac address or the physical address there is no method to distinguish one network from another because these are 
individual uh, directly uh, specifically uh, addressing a device it's a physical <coughs> physical addressing <coughs> physical addressing so this lack of hierarchy poses a significant uh, difficulties to network scalability if one if only layer 2 hardware addressing existed all hosts would technically exist on the same network uh, uh, same network so internet works like the internet could not exist as it would be impossible to separate uh, my network from your network and your network from my network and my network from others network because there is no way of uh, separating so imagine if the entire internet existed purely as a single layer to switch network switches as a rule will forward a broadcast out every port with billions of hosts on the internet the resulting broadcast storms would be devastating and the internet would simply collapse so the scalability is the biggest limitations of layer 2 hardware addresses are mitigated using logical addresses so let us see logical address so logical addressing is a function of the network layer of the osi model so that is layer 3 and provides a hierarchic hierarchical structure to separate networks so logical addresses are never hard coded never ever never ever hard coded on physical network interfaces and can be dynamically assigned and charged freely so a logical address contains two components first one is a network id which identifies which network a host belongs to that's where that's where my network your network and other network can be distinguished so and the second part is host id host id is nothing but uniquely identifies the host on that network so examples of uh, logical addressing protocols include the internet packet exchange ipx this is one protocol and then internet protocol ip and then so but ipx internet packet exchange was predominantly used on novel networks but is now almost entirely deprecated uh, because of ip so ip is the most most widely used logical address and 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 is the backbone protocol of the internet so now let's look into internet protocol ip internet protocol so in the 1970s the department of defense developed the transmission control protocol tcp to provide both network and uh, transport layer functions when this when this is proved to be an inflexible solution those functions were separated with the internet protocol providing network layer services and TCP providing transport layer services. Together, TCP and IP, that uh, the transport control protocol and internet protocol provide the core functionality for the TCP forward slash IP or internet protocol suit.